Hello, this is Rebel Point Ash, and today I wish to share something with you. So before we do the big talking, let me just quickly scan this tiny object with the mini too. I know I'm just gonna do a very quick scan. I'm not gonna try to capture all sizes. Just run it through. Maybe we can get around like two rounds, 360, about two, 300 frames. And let's see what's going on. Okay, almost there. Now, I'm not even gonna process it, just run it through a very quick fusion. Let's take it, uh, well, 12, sure. Okay, nice, the details look good. The top area, don't mind. It's because I didn't just make my skin, lift my scanner above it. But let's take a look at the, the bottom area, especially the, the armpit area. Well, if this thing has an armpit, and look, there are some big holes. One, two, and well, now let's try to scan it again with a, in a different orientation. So normally, if you want to make the, make that up, you can. What you can do is you can put it down and let it go another round to fill up the holes in the point cloud stage. But let's not do that. Now, let me show you if I want to scan it in a different way to rotate the scanner 90 degrees and scan it vertically. So normally, you might wonder. You want to scan something, put your scanner vertically. You you might try this before, right? Like you can hold it like this way to scan from uh, some awkward orientation and angles. But an easy way to adjust, you can in just install your scanner sideways. And then just boom. So now you can scan something in a vertical orientation, just like that. And now you might wonder why my in my UI, the, the preview page is like this round orientation, don't worry. If you click this button beside the exposure and boom, it'll adjust your, the UI back for you in the preview stage, okay? So now let's uh, do another scan. Uh, again, a quick scan, 300 frames with two rotations. And let's see what's going on. Okay, a little bit more than needed, but no matter, let's just go to uh, for another quick fusion. Okay, now let's compare just the ignore the, the big holes on the on the top above. Let's just take a look. Not on the armpit area, the holes are definitely the holes become much smaller than the previous one, right? And also, well, of course, it does create some other problems. That's because the scanner, when scanning in this way, it cannot capture some other areas. Like when it's on the, when it's, we are doing it horizontally, it cannot capture the crevices in the armpit, but now it may have some problem on the shoulders. So, but anyway, let's try to merge these two scans together so that we can let them make up for each other's disadvantages, right? Okay, let's just take a look at the merged one. So it's definitely improving. It's definitely better than any one of these two. But of course, this is not a perfect scan. I'm just want to use this example to tell you why this is happening and how, how come this is possible to let you scan something in a vertical orientation can improve your scan result. Okay, and here I want to quote from one of our users from the forum, forum forumrebel.3d.com. Thank you for this user, Steamcraft, ID name, Steamcraft. And he also did this research and actually he made this blog to tell us why this is happening and how you can improve your scan with the vertical orientation of your scanner. Okay, so uh, let, let me just directly use his example in this page with the mug. So just think about uh, the whole thing comes from the animation he prepared a long time ago. So the scanner is consists of a projector in the middle and a left and a right camera. Well, the other additional one camera on the left is for RGB camera. So how a scanner works. 
So basically the rubble point scanner projector, it projects shoot out a beam of light, like a mini two it shoots out the, the blue light, while POP3 range two shoots out the infrared light. And that light hits an object and the object will bounce back the light and can be captured by the two depth cameras of a rebel point scanner. So that's how a scanner works. So in the example of we scanning this mug, so the projector will shoot a fan or let's say the view of this projector is a fan like this and the red and left and right camera, they also have a fan field of view. So in order to calculate the 3D data from this procedure, it's very important for the pattern is projected on the area that can be captured by the projector, by the camera. So let's make this thing clearer. Here is a scanner point of view. So the green mug now we are seeing right now is what the projectors view. It can see everything, well, uh, maybe a little bit blind spot on the on the handle because it can kind of cover up by the handle with the when we are seeing it from right from the, the the behind okay so now and this is the red this red mug is what the left camera can see as you can see the blind spot is bigger much bigger right because it's kind of a covered from this angle of view and the right uh, and the blue color is the the view of the right camera so combining this view three views together what we have we have this and this this is exactly the blind spot that is created by the object itself during a single frame well of course when we're doing a continuous scan on the turntable or maybe you are welding the scanner it can be improved so now let's transfer this situation we have a pretty pretty difficult crevices this is what i prepared to you today this vacuum filter now this crevice is really obvious and the pattern is almost the same going on and on now let's try with this example and see how that goes okay let's create a new scan and first let's scan it scan this vacuum filter in a okay let me uh, get back the Well, again, it's not going to be a perfect scan. Let's not if let's ignore that and let's just see the result. Well, the point cloud is fine, but very obviously we can see that the point cloud in the deep of the crevices is kind of uh, thin. And I don't, I don't think we can have a full, complete point cloud over there. And to be honest, I think we should put some marker dots. We should use marker mode to scan this, but oh, Let's not worry about that. Let's just see how this is how this is going on with the with the fuse, the, how the crevices. Okay, as you can see, deep in the crevices is not complete. I you can see a lot of holes, empty spaces there, right? Let me turn the scanner vertically and let's see how this time well, from the point cloud generation, we can already tell that this is much better than the previous time, right? Okay. Let me not overlap and just do a quick fuse and see how it goes. Well, well. How about that? That in the deep inside the crevices is very complete. I don't see, I don't even see any hole or empty spaces over there. So yeah, and this experiment, let's go back to the animation here. So when the scanner is aligned horizontally and how it sees the, the, the filter, all the crevices can be hidden by each other. So the blind spot goes like this way is Almost every single line, every single face has a big blind spot. And if now we turn the scanner by 90 degrees and problem solved, look, now the, the blind spot becomes very small and especially the deep inside the crevices is not hidden anymore. There are still some blind surfaces 
in a single frame. But as I mentioned, if we turn use a turntable or you will weld the scanner around, it can be fixed by the second frame or the third frame continuously. So that's how you can fix a, uh, a scan with a simply reorientate your scanner 90 degrees, try to scan something vertically. But of course, I would recommend you in, the re in, in your real life project, it might be more complicated than just this tiny object or this vacuum filter out there. So I would suggest you to try out, scan something, uh, scan this in a horizontal orientation and vertical at the same time, or maybe cha also changing your the object orientation too to let the scanner capture every single angle of it. And then you might want to create uh, several different scans and you can merge them together or you can just continue a scan and let the scanner find its way back on tracking. <laughs>